Victoria's Treasurer Tim Pallas says the state's public transport ticketing system isn't up to world standard, flagging the government may change systems when the contract is up next year. Our Victoria political reporter Simon Love has the details. Simon, could the ticketing system be replaced? It certainly sounds like it, certainly from the language that the Victorian government is using now, given that the MyKey system here in Victoria is now 10 years old, but uh, there is some quirks with the system that clearly show that it's not up to the standard that, say, other cities have, such as Sydney, given that either an Opal card or a credit or debit card can be used to top, on, or top up and, on trains uh, and also the light rail in Sydney. Here in Melbourne, you must use your Mikey card in order to access the state's public transport system. So uh, the Treasurer today flagging that uh, a new system could uh, be brought to market when the Mikey contract is up in November. Uh, the government wants to enhance the uh, traveller's experience, public transport users' experience. Uh, we're in discussion with stakeholders about how we might be able to do that. Uh, and uh, of course, the contract is up in November. Well, I think we'd have to say that uh, they're not uh, uh, world's best practice at the moment. And Simon, the Victorian Treasurer has outlined what home buyers can expect from the Commonwealth's shared equity scheme. Yes, this is an interesting view from Tim Pallas about the Victorian government's shared equity scheme. Uh, he's been out spruiking the scheme, saying that uh, thousands of home buyers or first home buyers here in Victoria have accessed uh, government funds in order to uh, bankroll 25% of the purchase price of their first homes here in Victoria. Uh, but the state also insists that it hasn't lost any money on this scheme, given that one in six home buyers that have accessed the scheme uh, have actually bought the state's sh uh, share out. Let's have a listen, though, to Tim Pallas when he was asked about that this morning. The work that we've done so far shows uh, uh, an appreciation in price for the realised value on the properties that have been purchased. I think about since the trial of this began a couple of years ago, um, about one in six property owners uh, have basically bought out the state's interest or uh, sold their property. It's a partnership and uh, partners uh, uh, are there for the good times and the hard times. And the, the bottom line here is that uh, we're taking a share. I couldn't seriously look at you and say that we have a right to take an uplift in property value. And first home buyers such as Vicky Stegneck believe that the investment in this state government scheme is a risk worth taking. It's safe to say that if it wasn't for the scheme, I would still be renting. I'm totally okay with either paying the government out um, their 25% uh, at some point down the line or paying it out at the time of um, selling the property. So in Victoria, the scheme allows a property owner to have the state government take a 25% stake in the property. The, uh, the property value must be up to $950,000 in metropolitan Melbourne. It is lower in regional Victoria. And this is a similar scheme to what Federal Labor proposed at the last federal election, although this one has not yet been implemented by Labor. The purchase prices, though, vary around the country, and Labor actually offered to by a 40% stake of properties. But Tim Pallas insists that uh, Victorian home buyers, they won't be able to double dip with this sort of scheme and there's still no timeline yet on when the federal government home equity scheme will be set up, Sam. Simon Love in Melbourne, thank you for the update.